In a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing you another episode of Seven Days to Die on Alpha 20. So I've passed the night. I have gone ahead and come out to where the buried supplies are and dug it up and ready to loot. Ooh, Grandpa's awesome sauce. Nice. All right, got myself a few zombies out here. Take a swing, take a swing. Give you a couple bleeds, move away from, ooh, I took your arm off too. <laughs> What's uh, the spatch with these zombies and then we'll uh, talk about my adventures last night. Oh, 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 move. Gotta get away, I have no stamina. I'm gonna have to put a point in Sexy Rex. I didn't want to, but yeah, I think I need to. If I'm gonna do, oh, somebody behind me. If I'm doing kind of melee. Oh, stupid crawler. Now you'll see I have iron arrows. So I was able to get a forge mage last night, but when um, I was going to make it, I found that I had uh, not enough leather. I was missing like three pieces. So, I snuck across the street into a couple buildings doing some searching. I was down in the basement of a house and I ended up, I mean, I murdered three or four uh, zombies on the way in, but I ended up waking up a zombie, pulled out my nine because it was a runner, uh, took it out, but it it's like it unleashed hell on me. I had four or five zombies rushing down into the basement zombies from the outside trying to get in it was going to be utter chaos and i thought okay i'm dead i know it i'm just there's just no way i'm going to survive this well since i didn't have a mining helmet or you know like a light on my head i was kind of crouched in the dark and zombies came pouring into the basement and the first zombie um of course it charged in when they originally heard me okay got a couple hits in and I backed away from that initial contact where I first fired the weapon into a corner and four or five zombies all crowded down into that same area and just kind of stood around because they couldn't find me. It was pitch black. I wasn't moving. I wasn't, you know, freaking out and they couldn't see me every time. Now, when they got a little too close, I got bumped into by a zombie. Then I would start getting hit and I'd use my weapon. It would call more zombies in, but they would, and I would move to a different corner of the room. And once again, they would all just kind of mill around because they couldn't find me if I wasn't actively making noise. So I think stealth is working better than we think. It's just our inclination is once we're uh, spotted, we immediately take out our guns. We start shooting, we start running. You know, we start causing a lot of noise, which brings more zombies to us. If it's dark and you don't have a light on, you might be able to sit there in the, you know, in the middle of, of a, a room of zombies and not have them see you. But, you know, it was pitch black. I couldn't, I could barely see them. And obviously if I wasn't moving, they weren't seeing me. I did survive, I didn't die, and I got the leather. <laughs> the funny thing is that house had no leather in it. And I ended up going back to the gas station because I remember that there was an office chair. And I took up out uh, the office chair and it gave me the uh, leather I needed. So I was able to put down my forge. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to get water today. Is there water on the way to the trader? I don't. Let's go over here. I'll check that out. Um, but yeah, I was able to get the forge down. I was able to... Uh, take all the sand that I had gotten, which was actually a pretty good amount, and made a ton of glass jars, which is amazing for day one slash day two. Got a little bit of food in me. Not doing amazing on food right now, but I'll be, uh, I'll have to buy out the trader's stock of food in the, um, uh, the vending machine. Now I haven't seen any, uh, Ooh, I'm going to wait until one point in living off the land before I pick those potatoes. 
Why get one potato when I can get two potato? All right, so is there water in a ditch over here or is that a different POY with a... No, this is actually a waterway. A little difficult to get down to. Oh, actually not bad at all. Zombie over here. Oh, crawler zombie. How you doing, buddy? Oh, <laughs> crawler zombies look no almost normal when they're uh, swimming. God, I hate the crawlers. They're so hard to hit. Oh, another one. They look super freaky when they're swimming. Oh, my Lord. Ah, he had that little sprint ahead maneuver. And I hate them on stairs. Okay, finally. Let me get a little bit of water out of you. Okay, so there is water right across the street from... Where's my base at this? Oh, so behind my house, I can come over here. I think there's water in this ditch over here, and then I, there was water over here as well. Just a can. I did grab some stuff to sell to the trader, so try to get some more coin. I mean, I've got over 2,000 dukes on day two, so I'm doing really good. Oh, little ammo pile that I missed at the traders. I never knew this was here. Okay, I'm glad I looked. I honestly, I've never seen that before. Gives me a little bit more to sell to the trader. It'll make me happy. This better. I don't care what folks say about you in wasteland. Um, okay. Not I useful. I don't like to spread. I like to choke. So I'm gonna take the first through the first aid kits. Three of them is actually a pretty good one. Jobs. I don't think I want to do another buried supplies today. Where zombie old house demolisher. Interested? We'll see if I offer again. Oh, a shop. Interested in a gig? Another Come one. It seems like the same house. Southeast and east. About the same distance. Module five. Okay, I'll grab if that one. And pull this off. So I've got an entrance into the house. I haven't taken out the stairs yet that I had too much other stuff to do at the time. Uh, but I did get some storage started. I haven't organized it yet. It's just kind of, I mean, it's organized how I normally do it mostly. Just not complete. I know that makes no sense whatsoever, but trust me, it works. Um, you know what? I'm just going to dump everything and I'll... Uh, organize this stuff later. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a quick point. And I'll use the peas too. Oh, this thing's got like an attached junkyard. I have a bad feeling I'm going to run into a dog in here. Let's, um, yep. My nine mil is loaded. Oh, it doesn't have an attached. That's a different separate POI. Okay. That's one of those new like mini POIs. Not something that's actually a POI, but it's like right next door. But it is a little mini uh, junkyard. Oh, there is a dog. Wasn't the dog I was looking for or thought I'd find, but it is a dog. Definitely. Oh, 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 okay. Well, the doggy hit the uh, landmines for me. Don't know why he's stopping there, but that's fine. I'm not going to complain. I don't want a doggy ch uh, going right up my butt. That's for sure. Did the dog get all the landmines? Question. Looks like he did, so I should be good. Ah, oh, it's getting dark again. Hold on.
there you go, a compromise. Not so bright that it uh, blows it out, but bright enough so that you guys can actually see what's going on. I don't know why, for me, it's the side stab seems to work. You know, stab there and bring it down. I can't do this, but I can do the side stab. I'm weird, I guess. I need to grab the cobblestone. I'd be, I really do need it because I need to build a horde base probably day four, day five at the latest. I did put a few skill points in. I put a point in the mother load since I was going to be drinking uh, clay up when I was doing that. Um, it just made sense. And then I put a point in daring adventure so that I would have access to two quest reward or uh, an extra quest reward. All right, quiet on the home front. Oh my God. Make sure I use that one. Did not want to mess that up. That was awesome. Now, if I can get the handlebar schematic or I ever see a set of handlebars, I've got the hardest part taken care of. Come on, step into the light or step into the door. Where are you? Oh, right in the face. And right in your other head. Shut that door for a second. Don't think there'll be two zombies in the same bathroom. Typically, if one alerts, the other one would have alerted as well. Always, always, always getting over full on junk. I don't want to throw away lead pipes right now. I actually need those so I can make a, I need 30 of them to make my crap, uh, chem station. Now a long way from getting there. Uh, I still need to find five bottles of acid and that's probably going to take a while. Only worth eight dollars. I'm just gonna drop it. Okay. Try to get keep from being oh. So the floor is pretty tough, but the walls aren't. What's the outside? No, it's like just five hundred. Okay. Always in search of other places that make good uh Basis for the start, because you never know what kind of world you're going to get. Oh, hello. How did that miss? That one didn't. Didn't kill him outright, but. Okay, well. He wasn't interested in me. I'll go find him in a minute, I guess. I don't know where he's going. I'm not going to. Uh, chase him around the corner because he might be trying to lead me into uh, a trap. Or he's just really confused and doesn't know where I'm at. Or he's taking the long way to me. Stop missing. Usually better than that. Take out the sound traps to not bring in any more of his friend. Nice. Oh, BDU top. Just leave that stuff behind. I can always get cloth. Go into just about any house and scrap all the curtains, scrap the beds, and you'll have all the cloth in the world.
Ooh, a book pile. Nice. Except it's empty. <laughs> I got all excited for no reason. Now, the sink is where I'm crossing my fingers and hoping for some acid. Okay. I'm not going to push too hard. I mean, I'm going to keep looking for it, but acid is one of those things that can be a rare commodity. Ah, I'm pointing my way to this, which gives me a way out. Awesome. Ah, got too close to, I think I might've tripped the sound. Crap. I should have just beaten it, but I thought I could, uh, inch around just far enough to get a, a shot off. Just see the edge of your head. Nice. Good shot, too. I was hoping. I was really hoping. Thank you. I don't have any lockpicks. Once I have a workbench, I'll be putting points into at least one point in lock picking so I can make my own lock picks. Uh, Shamway foods used to be one of the worst containers you can get in alpha 20. They're usually not too bad. That's decent. That's actually a pretty good, sh uh, Shamway box. Sounds like a wandering horde, possibly. Oh, I remember this house. This is the one where I'm not sure if you could, they used to be able to use these to plant your own crops, and I don't think you can anymore. I think they took all the working planters out of the world as well so the only way to actually uh, do any gardening is to build your own planters other than mushrooms mushrooms can be planted anywhere oh a wrench i am a happy happy boy that is a good get Uh, workbench schematic would be really nice as well, but I'll take the wrench. I want to go back and, and check. I, I know I just said I think they took them out, but I'm not sure. So why not have a quick experiment? Seven days is I experimentation by critical. Can I plant this here? You can use these. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. If you want to do farming early, this POI is a good POI to set up as your base or something really close to it because you have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 12. Maybe 20 farm plots you can use right there. And it doesn't cost you a thing. Now you can't dig them up, but you can plant your own crops in there. I'm glad I checked that out. Now you might be asking, why do I care? Why am I carrying rocks on my belt? I found in the last playthrough I was doing, a boarded playthrough, unfortunately, um, that having rocks on your tool belt is really nice because depending on the difficulty area that you're in, you can lead zombies away, or I was more apt to use the rocks to, oh yes, thank you. Um, lead zombies away or lead zombies into a place where I can snipe them with my uh, bow and arrow. And because they don't know 
where I am or, or, you know, they're just following a rock. They were all sneak attacks. So it really helped me, uh, perform a lot more sneak attacks on unsuspecting zombies. No loitering. Well, you did then. All right. Okay. So I Grave Digger mod. Paid. I think the Grave Digger mod is where I have to go. Yeah. That'll be u more useful in, in the near term. Take a number and I'll get you a grade. Let's get down to work. Then. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Unfortunately, that's about all I can do with the trader raid. Except for get the next quest. But I don't think I'm going to go do that quest. How many quests have I done for him already? One, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, actually, this will be six. Tomorrow would be seven and I can have a bike on day. I could. If I get this one done, I can uh, grab another one and get it done first thing in the morning before he opens up. And as soon as he opens up, I'll already have a bicycle. Then I have to decide if I'm going to stay in this. This town seems really small. This is a really small town. And I don't know if I want to stay in it. I mean, it's nice to have the winter biome right next door. Maybe I can live here and do quests in the winter biome from using this as my base of operations. Ooh, I just thought of something. I don't have to build my horde base in the green zone. Uh, with my starting town this close to the, uh, the winter biome, why not just build my horde base in the winter biome? That way I get the benefit of the higher level loot drops, loot stage. It's not a novel idea. It's not that anybody else hasn't done already done it, but I just remember that I could do that. Now it would only affect the loot bags that are dropped, but that could be a huge effect. I think that's what we're going to end up doing. And because there is a trader right there, I can still do. Oh, there's a flying dog on top of that roof. I already know it. Ah, I hate vultures. I hate vultures with a passion. Do I want to use that until I get my other skills up high enough? It takes so much stamina. No, I don't think I do. I will. I'll go ahead and scrap it. I'll get the the rock. That's all I'm going to get out of it. Okay. Wish me luck. Oh, wait a minute. Let's do a cheeky double loot on that. That box is, I think is what it leads you up. And then there's a, oh, I forgot there was a, a cement mixer. I would have done the, uh, the double loot on that to get it that second chance at a schematic. I know which way the game wants me to go. I don't want to go that way. So that's the way you're supposed to go. And I think that's what trips the, uh, the bird to come attack you. Oh God, right there. That cheeky bird. It looks like he had red eyes too. That's one. I think there's a second one. Okay, 
So it looks like I got rid of the flying dog. Awesome. Okay, cool. Real dogs are scary enough. Flying dogs are worse. Oh, because it was only 50. I figured it was a plug. Oh, bottle of acid. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. Four more and I can make my chem station. Okay, schematic for something that I don't want. So for 160, you're getting sold, mister. I'm going to drop down with the gun pull just in case that automatically alerted all the zombies in the house. Come kill me. Nice. Sewing kits. Awesome. I definitely want those early. I'm going to save them for a little bit, but... In a day or two, if I haven't uh, gotten lucky, I mean, it'd be lucky as hell to get the uh, schematic for a double pocket mod. I'll make single pocket mod, but I want to wait till I have a good stack of. What am I wearing right now? Oh, I actually have armor on. Okay. 40, I'll sell them. Do those shoes have dye in them by any chance? Modify. No, they don't. They're just naturally of black shoes. Is this the one? This one has... Okay, I'm remembering this. There's a kitchen. And the kitchen a lot of times has a soldier zombie in it. Hello, nurse. Sorry I had to do that to you. I have a soft spot for nurses, but not in this game. I have an iron arrow for nurses. Um, regular jacket. Let's wear it. Anything sneaky up here? No. Crawler out. Nice. Now that I can make my own bandages. You know, I should be collecting the cloth because I can turn those into regular bandages and use the aloe to make a healing bandage. Oh, the aloe seed. Use that one. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably should have just kept that recipe so I could sell it. If I have to go living off the land anyways to make uh, good use of seeds like that, and I'm going to get that recipe no matter what, then why not just sell the recipe and make money now? Live and learn, right? I'll make mistakes and you guys don't have them have to, and you can do better. Okay. I think there's going to be some tough zombies over here. That was a mistake. I knew that was there. and I walked right over it. I'm going to try to take this wide. See if I can get an a all right, so the plumber zombie. That's what it looks like to me. Oh, there's three more zombies in that area? Okay. Bring it on, game. I hit the... Hold on. I hit the stupid floor and not the trash I was aiming for. So I'm going to sneak back as far as I can. 
And the question is, did he see me or did he just hear? No, he's coming straight to me. I think he knows where I'm at. Oh, no, he stopped. So stealth can work. But she heard me anyway. But she did stop for a second, though. So. Taking another hit. Go down. Oh, look at that face. Oh, man. Still have two more zombies. So I didn't wake those up. Just the one. Old spider zombie. What do I have a feeling it's going to be a crawler? Nope, it's a Kenny. And Kenny's dead. Nice. <laughs> Gravedigger mod. Okay, well, thank you, game. I guess I, I, I need two or three of those in my life. Hey, armor. Where? And I've got something. I've got that bandolier mod back at the house, which will go perfect on that. All right, Trader Hugh, give me something good. Hey, be quick about your business. Spear Hunter 1, not my thing. I'll take the Wood Spurter mod. I don't like Molotovs. I usually set myself on fire, not the, uh, not the zombies. Interested in a gig? Okay. All right, northeast. Yeah, Which direction? That's not in the done. snow. Okay, it's over here. Okay, that's a, it's a little bit out there, but I think it's worth the, uh, the run don't think i can get it done before he closes i'll make the attempt all right i made it out here quick let's see if i can find the uh the buried supplies okay so the tier one spawn zombies when i had my first um, shrinking of the circle. So when somebody tells you that it's only tier two or three that'll spawn zombies, each, uh, shrink of the circle. Remember tier ones can do it to you as well. I found it before the second, uh, update. So nice. I, that's a good amount of food. Um, I want the experience, but I want to get back quick. I'll bleed you and let you die. I'll just get your experience. We're going to have a bike before the end of day two. That's a, a record for me. And all the... Oh my God, look at that one. That wandering horde was heading right for me. Oh, I am so lucky I found that treasure as quickly as I did. Few of them have seen me. I'm gonna grab these feathers and run. I have an hour and 45 minutes before he closes. I should make it easily. And it gives me a chance to see more of the town. Oh, get around you real quick. So once again, buried supplies, really good for food on, uh, in the early game. I know they're not very flashy and they're not very exciting, but if you're needing food, not every single time is it going to be like this amazing, you know, what I get a hobo stew and a blueberry pie. Yeah. It's not always going to be that good, but Two of the three buried supplies that I've done so far have had decent food in them. I don't want to pass up the opportunity for some honey. Come on, come on, come on. No honey. Take a swing, take a stabby. Oh, and he got a hit on me. That's okay. 
you'll bleed out. I'll get the experience. Keep watching my hand because that's where the experience pops up. He might not bleed out. Or there could be a range. If I'm too far away from a bleeding zombie, maybe I didn't get the experience. I'm going to assume that uh, I was, uh, he didn't bleed out. He's just an injured zombie trying to follow me. Doesn't matter. I'm going to get my quest reward. That's not bad, but not great. Oh, just don't. 7.62. I really want that, but I need the herbal antibiotics. They're just too important. Oh, that wasn't the seventh job? You I've cheeky. Job for you. If Old house monitor four. That's not one that I've done. That's good. I've got a task for you. House bungalow nine. Okay, I'm more interested in that one. I thought it was seven quests. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, seven. I need one more. You know, if I actually learned how to count, my life would probably be a lot better. Well, there's no way I'm going to get that, even though it's a fetch, and I might be able to just walk up real quick and hit it. There's no way I'd be able to get in there fast enough. But I know that this one is a really small POI, and I can probably get to the weapons bag downstairs really quickly. I'll have to uh, beat my way out, but it's worth it. And if I end up getting stuck here for the night, or actually my house isn't that far away, I should be able to sneak over there. Behind this, aren't you? No. There's usually a few zombies in here. Sleeping beauty or sleeping death, however you want to look at it. But you ain't sleeping no more. Come on. Okay, that bad. Not bad. And I get a little bit of cobblestone in the in the bargain. All right, guys and gals. I'm going to go ahead and leave the episode here. I've been critical. This has been seven days to die on alpha 20. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.